Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll discuss SAP WM storage bins. So the agenda for this session is storage bin type, storage bin structure, then automatic and manual creation of storage bins, followed by blocking reasons of storage bin. So let's start with storage bin type. As we know, storage bin describe the exact position of material where it is kept. So we can define storage bin type that will describe different size of storage bins. Then next we have storage bin structure that will help you to create storage bins automatically. So we can define storage bin structure and that will generate a number automatically. Then next we have manual creation of storage bins. If you want to create manually storage bins, transaction code is LS01N. To edit, transaction code is LS02N and to display, transaction code is LS03N. Then next we have blocking reasons of storage bin. We can block certain number of bins due to reasons like damaged bin or any other factors. So let's do all these functions practically. Warehouse structure starts with warehouse number. Then we have different storage types. And within storage types, you have different storage sections. And storage sections contain several storage spaces. These storage spaces are storage bins. Storage bins can be of different sizes. So to define different sizes of storage bin, you need to go to display IMG screen. So enter SPRO in command field. Now select SAP reference IMG. This will navigate you to display IMG screen. Now to define storage bin types, select logistics execution. Now select warehouse management. Now select master data. Now select storage bins. Now select different store, define storage types. This will navigate you to storage bin types page. So to make a new entry for your bin type, click on new entries icon. Here you need to enter your warehouse number, your bin type and its description. So I'm entering test data here. Now press enter, click on save, click ok on customizing request pop-up. Your storage bin type has been defined for your warehouse number. Now every storage bin is classified by a number that comes from a storage bin structure. So we will be defining storage bin structure. To define storage bin structure, go to logistics execution, select warehouse management, select master data, select storage bins, click on define storage bin structure. This will navigate you to storage bin structure page. To make a new entry for your warehouse number and storage type, Click on new entries icon. Here you need to enter your warehouse number, storage type, your sequence number. Next tab is bin definition. Here you need to enter your template. Template contains numeric and character as well. So for numbers we are using notation as N and for character we are using C. Here you have to define your structure whether it is a three digit storage bin or four digit or five digit. Here you need to define the start value. Here you need to define end value. Here you need to define increment. In additional data, you need to enter your storage section, your picking area, storage bin type, what is the maximum weight allowed, what is the total capacity allowed. So I am entering test data here, my storage type, sequence number, 
template starts with n n n n n is for number then i'll enter character cc then again numeric then cc now structure according to your requirement i'll be defining structure as aa space bb space cc space stands for character that i have defined in template now start value is 0 1 slash 0 1 slash 0 1 end value i'll define as 10 slash 0 1 slash 0 1 increment i'll make it as 1 only enter your storage section maximum weight and capacity okay. my storage bin type is p1 for this one now once all your details are entered click on save click ok on customizing request pop-up your storage bin structure has been defined once your storage bin structure is defined you can create automatically your bins from this structure so for automatic creation of storage bins on this page go to environment select create bins it will execute a program in backend and automatically create your storage bins so here you can see that for my warehouse number 998 storage bins has been created starting with 010101 and ending with 10 space 01 space 01 and you can also check the increment that is of one unit only so my storage bins has been created automatically from storage bin structure now if you want to create storage bins manually you need to go to transaction code slash n ls 01 n this will navigate you to manual creation of storage bin page here you need to enter your warehouse number your storage type and name of your storage bin according to requirement so I am entering test data here now press enter now here you need to enter your storage section picking area what is the storage bin type what is the maximum weight and capacity allowed so storage section is 001 picking area storage bin type we have defined for this warehouse is p1 maximum weight now when all, once all details are entered click on save your storage bin aq13 has been created now if you want to display your storage bin go to transaction code slash n ls 3 n this will navigate you to display storage bin page here you need to enter your warehouse number storage type and storage bin this will display all details of your storage bin now once your structure is defined you can define blocking reasons for your warehouse number and storage bin to define blocking reason you need to go to display img page so enter spro in command field select sap reference img this will navigate you to display img page to define blocking reasons you need to go to logistics execution
now select warehouse management now select master data now select storage bins now select define blocking reasons this will navigate you to blocking reasons page to make a new entry for your warehouse number click on new entries icon here you need to enter your warehouse number block reason and its description so I'll enter my warehouse number block reason description now press enter click on save click ok on customizing request pop-up blocking reason for your warehouse has been defined so in this session we learned how to define storage bin structure and how to create automatically and manually storage bins and how to define blocking reasons for warehouse and in next session we will see how WM movement types are mapped to inventory management and how to define and activate search sequence for storage type and storage section.